Camera action. Praise the Lord. Time for church. <laughs> Amen. Is everybody breathing? Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And that's what we came to do. Amen. Amen. Even when there's just a couple where two or three are gathered in the name of Jesus. He's right here. He's right here in the midst of us. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad. We're going to, you know, I didn't hand out the song books. Sweetie, you want to be my helper? <laughs> I'll draft anybody who's willing and able. The red one, and just uh, make sure everybody gets a little song booklet. I thank you. They're inside here? Yep. They're just the little booklets, these these here. Basically, Yeah. <laughs> I'll fly away is not the fourth page, so we'll go ahead. We're going to start with I'll fly away. We have that promise of heaven, and we're going to open up, and we're going to praise the Lord. We're going to clap our hands. I invite all of you out there to join us. Welcome to the whole wide world. Now some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. Like Jesus, hallelujah. All right, uh, I don't remember what page Power in the Blood is on, but we're gonna sing Power in the Blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for shedding your blood for us, gave his life as a redemption for all mankind. Uh, it shouldn't be too far from the front. Power in the book. Let me grab a book. Hallelujah. Yep, 
It took somebody to pay the ultimate price so that we didn't have to. We don't have to be strung up. God does not require our blood. The sins that we commit, oh God, forgive us. And He does. He's brought redemption today. He's brought redemption. You don't have to go to hell. You don't have to live a life of misery and bondage and hiding in the bushes and thinking, oh, God can never love me. I've made mistakes. I've done things deliberately. Praise God. His grace is more than enough today. His grace is more than enough. Hallelujah. Hello, my sister Pinky. Love you. Hallelujah. We're going to sing the old rugged cross. Go back to, to number six. Two, up, two back. The old rugged cross. Oh, it made all the difference. It made all the difference. Hello, my beta Jerry. God bless you, honey. Wish you were here playing guitar and singing with us, Jerry. God bless you. Y'all send some hearts up for Jesus. Do you love Jesus today? Put some hearts up on that screen. Hallelujah. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love
Then he'll call me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. Oh, I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last. for me. I can praise him from now all through eternity, right? Oh, that rhymed. Hallelujah. I might have to write a song before the day is over. Glory. Yeah, I've been asking the Lord for some more songs. I haven't written a song in a while. I've been in a dry period. But how many of you know that he gives water in the desert? Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, I'll tell you. <clears throat> I come here to John chapter 16. So if you have your Bibles, you can turn to John chapter 16 and welcome Wendy and Sister Betty and Brother Denny. And I can't see everyone, but God bless you, dears. Please stay with us if you can. Share the video. Turn it up. Crank it up. Let's get the word and the worship going in our homes, in the cars, wherever we're at. I don't know. Well, don't watch this and drive. Listen. Put the phone in the back seat. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Let's drive safe, everybody. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, John chapter 16. You know, verse 1 uh, is where I'm going to look at. But we're going to thank the Lord. Bless the reading of the word first. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for this great plan. We still don't understand it completely, but we trust you. We love you. We stand in faith. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for your word. And I just ask you to bless this time, Lord. And I give you myself, my mouth, my mind, my spirit, Lord. Speak through me today. I only want to hear your words. Let me be your vessel. Give us ears to hear, I pray, and create in our hearts fertile ground to receive the precious seed of the gospel and that it may grow and flourish and feed all those around us. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. John 16, the Gospel of John, verse 1. This is Jesus speaking. These things I have spoken to you, that you should not be made to stumble. It's that simple. What Jesus says, if we will grab a hold of it, adhere to it, stick to it. They say you got to have stick to it of -ness. <laughs> Well, that means that you better let the Holy Ghost and faith, your God kind of faith, be glue and hang on to his word. Jesus said, These things I have spoken to you, 
that you should not be made to stumble. I will tell you, we all get weak moments. We live in these bodies of flesh and there are challenges. And I know that in a weak moment, there's that little split second you have a decision to make. Either adhere <laughs> to what Jesus says or lean this way. And I promise you, you will stumble every time if you don't grab hold of the word. I know. Oh, I hate stumbling. I stumble less than I used to. Thank you, Jesus. We grow in grace. We learn, don't we? Mamas, you all could testify to that. I have some precious mamas in the room with me that could teach me a thing or two about faith. Praise God. Hello, my Robbie. Praise Jesus. If he says it, God's word says, that is is what will cause us not to stumble. Now, if you stumble, you might not fall. You might not crash and burn. You know, there are times when the shoe sticks to the floor wrong or something and you just stumble the least little bit, but there are times just a stumble can you can throw your back out. There's times when just a stumble can make you whack your arm on a door post or something and get a bruise. And it, like a stumble can still be a mess. And spiritually, think about it. Say, well, oh, thank you, Lord. That wasn't too bad. <clears throat> and you might even feel too much pride to repent about it. Oh, Jesus, help us. Help us, Lord. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm preaching to the preacher here. You know, I'm talking to you from my heart. I know a couple things. Not everything. But I know a couple things. A stumble, spiritually, can be like, oh, <clears throat> you know, you see the figure skater, or the beautiful ballerina, and a little wrong turn or something. They may even finish the performance with a sprained ankle or a fracture. I've seen my daughter do it. Oh, Jesus. And I know they're in pain. That's, see, there it is. The stumble. Something happened. Something went wrong during the stumble. You may continue. You may get to the end of that mission. But not without the pain. Not without at least feeling in yourself. Well, the audience may say, oh, that was the most beautiful dance. That was the most beautiful song. But you know that you went flat on the word though three times. Or you know that your ankle turned and that you're swelling and bruising magnificently within your toe shoes or whatever. Or your tap shoes or your skates. You know and you're suffering. Listen to what I'm saying today. Oh, Jesus, help us. And he will. The stumble alone, maybe no one else realizes that the stumble was there. Maybe the trained coach or someone who knows you so much could recognize the stumble and that there are repercussions from the stumble. But those repercussions may lay you up. Spiritually, think about it. It may lay you up. It may delay you. And you may even, your body might start acting out. And misery come on you somehow physically. Because, you know, the Bible says the earth is in travail because of sin. This body is our earthly house. God created us from the dust of the earth. It's all within his order. This is precious to him, right? But because this is earthbound, this is earth. Listen to what I'm saying. The earth cries out, you know, it's in, it's in agony, it's in labor when sin is present. 
our earth they say want us to stop polluting and now those are sins against our home here that God made so yes preachers you can say we shouldn't try to save the whales or trees now I say we got to work on all of us praise God we got to take care of this place you know especially if we're Christians we're serving them. the second Adam lives within us we better take care of this place hallelujah I regress but this earthly body will act up when the stumble has brought the repercussions spiritually okay it does there are things mm, and sometimes we got to seek God it's not that he's not healing us. It's that our body is continuing to act up if there's something we're holding back. And I, I know, I can testify to this. And, and the Bible talks about like bitterness. It's a root. And you think about how roots go way down. Ladies, I don't know how many of you have grown potted plants. You're good with the garden. And you get that flower pot and you got to take care of that fern or your nephthitis or whatever. And you, when you pull it out, the roots even came out the pot. They're twisting. And, the, and you're like, oh, roots go deep. Think about tree roots. The bigger the tree, the roots are the size of the top of that tree. Down in the earth looking for water and things to hold on to. The Bible says bitterness has roots. And we want to, we can't allow the root of bitterness to get a hold of us. And see, this, this body is our house. Our spirit is made to reflect the Lord. We're made in His image, not just our body. Our spirit man is made in the image of God. <sighs> and Lord, help us. Day by day, he takes us from grace to grace, you know. He, he brings us from glory to glory. Thank the Lord. Oh, I'm so thankful. That's why we need a Savior. And see, Jesus, he said, these things, I'm speaking to you. Everything. I love that song that talks about looking at the red letters. When I was little. As soon as I found out that in my white King James Bible, well, my little children's version first, then I inherited the white one. <laughs> but where the red letters were, and I wish this one had red letters, where the red letters were, that means that's what Jesus said, right? That was quotes of Jesus exactly. Hang on to that. Sometimes I tell folks, just open the Bible. If you don't know what to do, you don't know where to look, find you some red letters. Well, Find something that Jesus said. Because he is the living word of the living God. And when he speaks it, you can guarantee it. We will not be made to stumble because of his words. His words won't make us trip up. His words won't make us fall. We got to hang on to him. You know, right before that, in the end of John 15... Jesus says in, in 26 and 27, he talks about, you know, he's teaching the disciples. He's teaching here. And he's talking about how the world would hate, the world system is going to hate the body of Christ. He says, but when the helper comes, he's telling them, I'm going, but the Holy Spirit is coming. When the helper, capital H, comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father. Think about that. Jesus said, I'm sending you help personally. I'm handling this. I'm sending the Holy Spirit to you from the Father. Wow. The Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father to proceed from someone. 
It's like life proceeds from the father, from the mother, you know. Life proceeds from the seed. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, He will testify of me, Jesus said. Wow. He sent us this helper, and the helper is going to testify inside you every moment of every day. Every moment of every day of Jesus. He's the testimony, the sure testimony that Jesus is in you. Amen. And you also then will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. He was assuring the disciples. And praise God. You've been hanging out with Jesus. Some of you, how many of you have been saved since you were a little child? I mean, praise God. Praise God. That's such a beautiful blessing. That really is. And no matter when you've come to the Lord, that you came is so awesome. But those things that Jesus speaks are for our benefit. He is the one, when he went to the Father, he said, okay, Holy Spirit, I'm sending you. He had the authority to send the Holy Spirit to us. And it's this huge miracle that he can indwell each and every one of us who's received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. He empowers us. And praise God. Yes, we can celebrate Christmas every day. Yes, we can celebrate the good things of God every day. These words of Jesus will stop you from stumbling. Amen. Some of us have to have something to help us walk or something to help us get around so we don't stumble. Somebody said to me years ago, I think you're just using Jesus as a crutch. And I stopped and I looked at this lady and I said, Ooh, that's good. Thank you. I'm going to have to preach on that. What? She said, I'm serious. You're using this Jesus thing. This whole thing with Jesus as a crutch. And I said, good. Who else would I want to lean on? Who else is a sure foundation? Who is the rock of ages? Hallelujah. If I can't lean on the rock of all ages to keep me from stumbling... Aha, uh -huh, word. Amen. Lean on Jesus. Lean on the everlasting arms, right? Leaning, leaning. Safe and secure from all alarm, right? Leaning, I'm leaning. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. Amen. We'll have to teach that to people on sweet and played on the guitar and we'll sing it. <laughs> Praise God. I hope you were blessed by the message today. Be encouraged, my dear ones here. Be encouraged and those of you watching. But Jesus and what he says is going to keep you from stumbling every day. Get some word in you. And every time you do, you're a little bit closer to what you need to be. Bless God, we're not what we used to be, huh? Amen, amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you and praise you. Father, thank you. Help us, Lord, today. Holy Spirit, we just ask you to come. Spirit of truth, reveal to us the things we need today so that we don't stumble. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, I just pray for the whole internet community that's watching, my church family there, for these precious ones here and every patient here and in all the nursing facilities and hospitals everywhere. Lord, I just ask you to stretch out your healing hand. Holy Spirit, wind blow through facilities everywhere, through bodies of believers and congregations, 
whether in secret places or in back mighty cathedrals. I pray for your spirit to move among your people and in all the earth. We love you, Lord, and I ask you for your touch upon each and every one. Yes, Father, the ones who've requested prayer on this this chat, this, this live video, Lord, the texts in Jesus' name, touch right now. Touch by the power of the Holy Spirit from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I give you praise, Lord. Thank you for this time. Thank you. And we just know <laughs> when we come to you, everything is going to be all right. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to close with just a little talk with Jesus. So we're switching it up now. We're going to change the order of our songs. Praise God. Just a little talk with Jesus. And it's... Yeah, keep playing, Daddy. <laughs> Number five, the fifth song. Oh, hallelujah. We are privileged because we can pray any time of day or night. It doesn't matter where we're at. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It made my heart in love, and He wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell Him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer wheel turning, you'll know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. I may have doubts and fears, my eyes be filled with tears, but Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to Him in prayer, He knows my every care. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer wheel turning, you'll know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Makes it right. Amen. And that is what we're going to do now. I'm going to pray for all of you, dears. And God bless you out there in the audience. And share the video. Come on, share and send some hearts up for Jesus. We love you. Everybody say, God bless you, world. God bless you, world. And we love you right here. And we're praying for you. These dear mamas pray for you, world. I want you to pray for them. Don't forget shut-ins. Minister to those who can't get out to church. You go into the highways and the byways, and you take Jesus to the world. Amen. So y'all be shiny and come back anytime. God bless you.